66. Number 66, Half of Calvary. And we will sing all four verses. Number 66.
If we could go to Genesis. Genesis chapter 42. a little bit. Uh, last week we looked at how uh, Joseph, uh, how he was in prison, the Bible says, for two years, and Pharaoh had a dream, and nobody could uh, interpret what uh, Pharaoh's dream was, and, and uh, the butler that happened to be uh, in, in the jail with uh, Joseph remembered Joseph and he told Pharaoh, Pharaoh, uh, you know, when, when, when we were in, you know, when I was in prison, I'm not going to elaborate on why I was in prison. You know, hopefully we can just, you know, we moved past it. Um, but there was a man in there and he interpreted dreams. And, and if he's still there, he can do, he can interpret yours. Yeah. And Pharaoh said, well, you know, get this man. And sure enough, you know, Joseph was there and they grabbed him and they said, you know, Pharaoh, Pharaoh uh, is requesting you. And so he went up there and Pharaoh said, you know, I heard that you can interpret dreams. And, and Joseph uh, kind of corrected him on that one. Uh, he said, well, uh, I can, but it's only because of God. And, um, and uh, you know, uh, Pharaoh had his uh, imitations. Right, the Bible said that he had his uh, uh, his uh, oh, what were they called? Uh, magician. Magician. There's the word. I was like, man, the word is not it's not coming. It's magicians. So, and and, and I know Egyptians uh, were big onto uh, uh, you know they they believed in multiple gods. And so they were big. Uh, one of the things that they were big was astrology and stuff like that. So they were big onto, and we'll look onto that one furthermore uh, down this lesson uh, or the series. Uh, but uh, they had their own magicians, and, and I believe, uh, you know, we look at uh, Moses. You know, Moses did miracles, and we we read that uh, the magicians that Pharaoh had did some of those miracles as well. Um, but I believe that that was God allowing them to do it because if God said you're not doing it, you're not doing it. Uh, but uh, they were imitating. And I believe that there were uh, magicians that Pharaoh had that could imitate uh, 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 interpreting dreams. And that's why Pharaoh went to them first. And none of them could do it. And so he went to, again, he went to Joseph and said, Joseph, I heard you're the man. And Joseph uh, said, well, it's not, it, it's not only me. It's God that allows me to do it. And so Pharaoh told him the dream. And, and Joseph said, all right, this is what's going to happen. Uh, there's going to be seven years of good. Seven years where, man, when we grow, the, 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 the amount that we're going to have is going to be plentiful. But after those seven years are over, there's going to be seven years of bad. And those bad is going to be grievous. And, 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 and man, we, we, uh, we need to be ready. Because, because the, and as, as Joseph said, because the Lord had revealed those things to you, it's going to happen soon. And Joseph said, you need to find a man to, to take charge. To be, in, to be in charge of all this. To make sure everything's going to go. And the Bible says that, you know, at least uh, the Bible says, but I'm going to paraphrase it. Uh, I believe that Pharaoh looked around and, and, and kind of just said, you know what? I'm, I'm not seeing anybody else other than you. Uh, Joseph, you're, you're, you're going to be that man that you speak of. And Pharaoh appointed Joseph to be number two in all of Egypt, which uh, I, I said it before, but Egypt at this time was the greatest nation in the world. Yeah. And Joseph is number two. Wow. Yeah. I mean, just just a few minutes ago, he was in a prison. <laughs> you know? <laughs> he was a prisoner. And before that, he was a slave. 
Oh, thank you. I, then, you know, I, I wasn't, I was like, yeah, it's not up here. I, I, won't, I won't deal with it, but I do like this. I'm like, yeah, so. But, uh, so now he's number two in the world. And, man, this, this is looking great for Joseph. You know, I mean, like, I mean, literally, you want to talk about rags to riches. This was Joseph. Yeah. And man, Joseph is now has the life that that it seems like everyone would want. You know, who doesn't want to be? I mean, we probably want to be number one, but I will settle for number two. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I will settle for number two. Right. Even three. I mean, that gives me a bronze. Okay. <laughs> I'll settle for third. Okay. Uh, but here it is, man. Joseph is now, and I, and I kind of joked, but I also wondered, you know, what did the butler do? You know, man, I forgot about Joseph for two years, and now he's number two. I hope he doesn't look my way, because <laughs> now all he has to say is, remember that baker? Yeah, you're going to have the same fate. <laughs> You know, and, and, and man, and then also, like I said last week as well, you know, Potiphar and Potiphar's wife. Potiphar is just as guilty as Potiphar's wife because as I've said before, and as, as, as it was mentioned here, I believe Potiphar knew that his wife was in the wrong. And so, man, now thinking about Potiphar and his wife, uh-oh. You know, uh, Joseph was in prison because of us. What will he do to us? Mm. And we'll get to that later on. Those chickens come home to roost. <laughs> yeah. But we'll, we'll, get, we'll get to that later on in the series. But we're in uh, Genesis chapter 42. The Bible says in verse 1, the Bible says, Now when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, Jacob said unto his sons, Why do ye look upon one another? And he said, Behold, I have heard that there is corn in Egypt. Get you down thither and buy for us from thence, that we may live and not die. And Joseph's ten brethren went down to buy corn in Egypt. But Benjamin, Joseph's brother, Jacob sent not with his brethren, for he said, lest per, uh, peradventure mischief befall him. And the sons of Israel came to buy corn among those that came, for the famine was in the land of Canaan. And Joseph was the governor over the land, and he was, and he, it was that sold to all the people of the land. And Joseph's brethren came and bowed down themselves before with him, uh, him with their faces to the earth. And Joseph saw his brethren, and he knew them, but made himself strange unto them, and spake roughly unto them. And he said unto them, Whence come ye? And they said, From the land of Canaan to buy food. And Joseph knew his brethren, but they knew not him. And Joseph remembered the dreams which he, uh, uh, which he dreamed of them, and said unto them, Ye are spies to see the nakedness of the land, ye are come. And they said unto him, Nay, my lord, but to buy food are thy servants come. We are all one's man's son, we are true men, thy servants are no spies. And he said unto them, Nay, but to see the nakedness of the land, ye are come. And they said, Thy servants are twelve brethren, the son of one man in the land of Canaan. And behold, the youngest is this day with our father, and one is not. And Joseph said unto them, This is it that I spake unto you, saying, Ye are spies. Hereby ye shall be proved by the life of Pharaoh, ye shall go. Now, not go forth hence, except your youngest brother come hither. Send one of you, and let him fetch your brother, and ye shall be kept in prison, that your words may be proved, whether there be any truth in you, or else by the life of Pharaoh surely ye are spies. And he put them all together in ward three days. And Joseph said unto them the third day, This do and live, for I fear God. If ye be true men, let one of your brethren be bound in the house of your prison. Go ye, carry corn for the famine of your houses, and bring your youngest brother unto me. So shall your words be verified, and ye shall not die. And they did so. And they said, unto one, and they said one to another, 
we are very barely guilty concerning our brother and that we saw it and that we saw an anguish of his soul when he besought us and we would not hear therefore this is distress come upon us and Reuben answered them saying spake I not unto you saying do not sin against this child and ye would not hear therefore behold also his blood is required and they knew not that Joseph understood them for he spake unto them by an interpreter and he turned himself about from them and wept and returned to them again and communed with them and took from them Simeon and bound him before their eyes then Joseph commanded to fill their sacks with corn and restore every man's money unto his sack and to give them provision for their way and thus did he unto them and they laded their asses with the corn and departed thence and as one of them opened his sack to give his ass provender in the end, he espied his money for, behold, it was in his sack's mouth. And he said unto his brethren, My money is restored, and lo, it is even in my sack. And their hearts failed them, and they were afraid, saying one to another, What is this that, that God had done unto us? And they came unto Jacob their father unto the land of Canaan, and told him all that befell upon unto them, saying, the man who is the Lord of the, of the land spake roughly to us and took us for spies of the country. And we said unto them, We are true men, we are no spies. We be twelve brethren, sons of our father. One is not. The youngest is this day with our father in the land of Canaan. And the man, the Lord of the country, said unto us, Hereby shall I know that ye are true men. Leave one of your brethren here with me. And take food for the famine of your households and be gone. And bring your youngest brother unto me. Then shall I know that ye are no spies, but that ye are true men. So I will deliver you, your brother, and ye shall traffic in the land. And it came to pass as they emptied their sacks that, behold, every man's bundle of money was in his sack. And when both they and their father saw the bundles of money, they were afraid. And Jacob their father said unto them, Me... Had he be raved, be raved all my of my children? Joseph is not, and Simeon is not, and he will take Benjamin away. All these things are against me. And Reuben spake unto his father, saying, Slay my two sons, if I bring him not to thee. Deliver unto him my hand, and I will bring him to thee again. And my and he said, My son shall not go down with you, for his brother is dead, and he is left alone. If mischief befall him by the way in which ye go, then shall ye bring down my gray hairs with sorrow to the grave. And we're going to stop there. Mm. Here it is. You know, Jace, uh, Joseph, man, he is, I mean, it, it's looking good. Next thing you know, you know, the Bible says that he's in charge of that, that area. You know, he's in charge. He, he's selling it. He's doing all the business. Next thing you know, next in line, he looks. And it, 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 I imagine horror. Back, back, back flashes came. You know, you know him, him getting tossed into, into that pit. Yeah. The, the brother's trying to figure out, and I'm sure, I'm sure they're listening. I'm, or I'm sure he heard them say they're, they're trying to decide whether to kill him or not. You know, and, and, and hey, you know what? There's there's people there that's gonna sell him. Let's let's just get rid of him. You know, I, I imagine that all these thoughts came to are, are racing through his mind when all he had to do was just look at him. And and here it is that you know uh, 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 that the Bible says that when they that when they came to him, they bowed down to him. Mm. Sounds familiar. Sounds familiar, don't it? Remember, Joseph, at the age of 17, told him, hey, this just my dream, you know, my your sheaves were bound down to mine. Now it's coming to true. Yeah. They'd all bow down to Joseph. And you know, uh uh Joseph, the Bible says that uh, he spoke uh, roughly to them. You know, he didn't want them to know who he was. 
you know. And and and, and that's the thing with 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 someone in Joseph's predicament, and, and, and I never, you know, again, it might not be that you were sold into slavery or, or whatever, but you might have been harmed by somebody. And Joseph had literally all the power given to him. But I, I, I don't think that he was afraid of them. But I, again, I think that, that it was, you know, man, you guys hurt me. Mm -hmm. you, you guys hurt me. And, and, and it, I'm not just going to open my arms and say, brothers, hey, it's me. You know, I believe that, again, it's not fear for his life, but I think he still was afraid of them. And he kind of kept it to us. He kind of kept who he was a secret. You know, and, and, and you know, uh, I, I imagine that, you know, he probably, uh, probably changed his voice a little bit. Because, again, they spent at least 17 years with him. You know, and so I imagine he probably changed his voice a little bit. And uh, the Bible says that he even, he even went, I, I tell you what, Joseph, he would have been a perfect actor. Hmm. Because he, he could have spoke, I mean, he was, he was second in command, right? He could have spoke in, in their language, Hebrew, because... I mean, that, that was something that uh, uh, they could have done, right? They, they had people that could have taught Joseph how to speak Hebrew if he was a, a true Egyptian. But he, the Bible says that he spoke in Egyptian and had an interpreter talk to them. Yeah. Joseph was playing the part perfectly. I'm not going to let them know who I am. And, and he went as far as saying, again, he knew who they were. And, and he saw them and he said, well, where, uh, whence come ye? And he said, from the land of Canaan to buy food. And he, and, and, and he said, whoa, you are spies. And I believe from this point, Joseph was putting his brothers to a test. From this point, I, I believe that, again, Joseph was not an evil person. Joseph was a godly man. Yeah. But Joseph wanted to see if his brother, brothers had changed. I, I believe that Joseph still loved his brother. Yeah. All, all, all of them. And, and I know he still loved his dad and his mom, his family. I believe that he loved them all. But he wanted them to, or he, he wanted to see if they changed. If they're still the, the wicked brothers that they were. And he says, well, you are spies. You have come to, to, to see the nakedness of the land. And they said, well, no, 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 we promise. We're a big group. Yes, we, you know, there, there's a lot of us, but we're all family. All of us, excuse me, all of us are brothers. And they said, all of us, and then we have one at home. He's the youngest. We have him at home. Well, Joseph doesn't know about Benjamin yet. Doesn't know. And so here it is that, that he's probably thinking, they're talking about Joseph. But I'm Joseph, but they're not, they don't know that. And then he says, see, this is how I know that you are spies. And he says, you know what? Prove to me that you are, are true men. Bring that youngest one here. Because again, I believe that he, he thought that they might have been lying. And you know what? Fine. You have a younger brother. Go ahead. Bring him here. Show him, show him to me. And then I'll take you as your word. And, and the Bible says that he, that he kept them all there for three days. You know, I don't know if that's how long David was. Or I say David. I don't know if that's how long Joseph was in the pit before they sold him. I don't know. You know, I, I don't know if there was a significance to that, but he kept him there for three days. But again, I, I know that, that, that Joseph loved, still loved him, even though they did him wrong. And you read that, you read why I would say that. Because the Bible says that when they left, that he filled their sacks with, with 
uh, uh, with with the with the stuff that the, the grain that they bought, and he gave them back their money. Yeah. And the Bible says, um, uh, I should I should have held held the place um, that. Uh, Oh, I, I should I should have kept my finger on it, but pretty much he gave them. Oh, here it is in verse uh, twenty-seven. And the Bible says, and as one of them opened his sack to give his as per vendor in the end, he espied his money. For behold, it was in his sack's mouth. It was when when he opened up his sack. It was more. It was it was it was beyond more. I, I believe that Joseph gave them back their money and some. And, and 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 it was it was for them. I mean, imagine, right? You go into this, you know, go imagine going to Walmart or Publix or Win Dixie, whatever one you prefer. You go in there and you, you get your food. You they they give you in the bag, and you go you you, you go home, and for some reason you check your bank account. And he got more money than he did when he spent. I'd be a little nervous. I'd be like, what's going on? Yeah. You know, I spent that much money, but now I got more back. I mean, talk about a rebate. Yeah. <laughs> right? And here it is. Man, they were afraid. And the Bible says they went back. They went to their dad and said, Dad, let's tell you, man, we got, man, we got a story to tell you. And, and, and something that I want to keep uh, 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 keep in mind for further on lessons is that when they refer to, to Joseph, uh, in, uh, again, I, sh I should have kept it, um, in verse 30, the first two words in verse 30, the Bible says, the man. They refer to Joseph as the man. We'll, 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 we'll look at that uh, Again, further down in, in, toward in the in the series, but the man, the man, and, 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 and Joseph, he he even said to him to his brother, he said, "Look, I I believe in God, right?" And, and, and he made it known that that hey, I, I do believe in God. And they said, "The man, the Lord in the country, said unto us, and and and, and, they, and he thought that we were spies." And we said, no, 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 no. We're, we're all brothers. And, and you know, uh, 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 we have one, one youngest brother. He, he's, he's here with our dad. And he's here and he said, I will take you as true man if you bring him to me and show him me. Mm. Again, in verse, uh, the first couple of verses of chapter 42 Land of Canaan didn't have much food. Right? That's why, that's why Jacob said, look, I heard that Egypt has enough corn to feed us all. Go to Egypt and get us food. And here it is that Joseph's pretty much saying, if you don't bring me back to your youngest brother, you'll never come here again and get food. So, Dad, if you want us to go up there and get food, we cannot leave. Without Benjamin. We need to take him. Because he is our the key for us to get food. And Jacob. He said y'all are crazy. And, and, and what happened is. is Joseph when he, sent him, when he sent them away. He said one of y'all are staying. Yeah. One of y'all are staying. I'm, I'm going to make sure that y'all. I, I, again. I, I do not believe that Joseph was doing this. Out of spite of his heart. I think he truly wanted to see if his brothers changed. I mean, I could be wrong. I, I don't know. Uh, um, I believe that Joseph was going to help his brothers regardless. Right. Or at least for his dad's sake. And, and he didn't know about his mom, so I'm going to say for his mom's sake too. But I think he was going to help them for their sakes. But I, I still believe that he just wanted to know where his brothers were. Again, it's been time. Joseph was 17 when he was sold into slavery. Well, we know at least two years happened, but in, in the latter part of last week, we, 
Joseph was 30 years old. So we're talking, what is that? Uh, 13. 13 years went on. Right? 13 years. Has my brother changed in 13 years? And so he kept them. And, and I believe that, his, that, that that was one indication. Right? They left, they left me high and dry in, in, in the pit. Will they leave one of theirs high and dry? Will they come back for one? You know, and I think that was one of the tests. Will they come back for Simeon? Right. Or will they say, huh, Simeon, you're on your own, buddy. Sorry, sorry I had to be you, but you're on your own. And I think that that was a test. And, and, and we see that they went and they said, Dad, we need to go back. And his dad said, y'all are crazy. For, for, you know, this is just me saying it now. Y'all are crazy. Joseph died. And y'all know how much that hurt me. Now Simeon is there. Now, if something happens to Benjamin, as we read in the latter part of the day, he says, if mischief befall him, meaning Benjamin, by the way in which ye go, then shall ye bring down my gray hair with sorrow to the grave. If something happens to Benjamin, it's going to kill me. Yeah. You're not taking him. Hindsight, if I was Simeon, I'm like, really, Dad? <laughs> really? <laughs> Thank you. You know, show how much you love me. Yeah. Right? But here it is. He said, you, you, you're not taking him. And, 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 man, it goes even much. And again, Joseph doesn't know what's happening at this moment. Reuben. Reuben, uh, when they were back in Egypt, see, Reuben pulled the I told you guys. Yeah. I told you, don't do anything. Because the Bible says that Reuben went away for a little bit. Uh, I don't know what he went to go do. I don't know if he was trying to figure out a plan. But he went away, and that's when that's when uh, Judah, Judah said, hey, let's sell him. And that's going to come back and play a little uh, further down, too. Um, but Judah said, we're going to sell him. And Reuben came back and says, whoa, what did you guys do? And Judah said, look. We didn't kill him. We didn't harm him. All we did was sold him. <laughs> we got rid of the problem. Yeah. You're welcome. You know, and and and, jo and, and uh, Reuben said, guys, I, uh, in verse 22, he says, answer them saying, spake I not unto you saying, do not sin against this child. Don't sin against Joseph. Don't do anything. But you would not hear me. And he did it. Now his blood, now God is punishing us. For this. And now they're at home, and, and, and Reuben said, Father, kill my two sons. If, if something happens to Benjamin, my two sons will pay the penalty of, 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 of what would happen if something were to happen to, to, to Benjamin. And Jacob said, that's not, pretty much saying, that's not good enough. Your two sons, uh, and, and, and I don't think, uh, I think, I think uh, Jacob grew a lot too. Um, you know, I, I know he still favored, seemed like he favored Benjamin still more. Mm -hmm. But I think that he grew, I don't want it to sound wrong, but I, I feel like he grew to like his children more. Sure. To have a better relationship with the children. I think that Joseph's death in his eyes made him realize, listen, maybe I treated y'all wrong. Maybe, you know, Joseph, Joseph was a was a great kid, and and and, and I want to spend because we don't know what's gonna happen. And I want to spend more time with y'all. And I think that he got to know his grandchildren. And 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 here it is. No. Your two sons are not, I, I, I don't want them to be, I don't, I don't even want that to be in a conversation because Jacob, Benjamin's not going. And, and again, uh, and in verse uh, 20, uh, excuse me, we're going to keep reading in chapter 43. The Bible says, and a famine was sore in the land and it came to pass when they had eaten up the corn, which they had brought out of Egypt. Their father said to them, go again, buy us a little food. 
And Judah spake unto him, saying, This man did solemnly protest unto us, saying, Ye shall not see my face, except your brother be with you. And if thou wilt send our brother with us, we will go down and buy thee food. But if thou wilt not send him, we will not go down. For the man said unto us, Ye shall not see my face, except your brother be with you. And Israel said, Wherefore dealt ye so ill with me, as to tell the man whether he had yet a, a brother? <laughs> and they said, The man asked us straightly of our state and our kindred, saying, Is your father yet alive? Have ye another brother? And we told him, According to the tenor of these words, could we certainly know that he would say, Bring your brother down. And Judah said unto Israel his father, Send the lad with me. And we will arise and go that we may live and not die, both we and thou and also our little ones. I will be surety for him, and my hand shalt thou acquire him. If I bring him not unto thee and set him before thee, then let me bear the blame forever. For except we had lingered, uh, uh, lingered uh, surely now I had returned this second time. We're going to stop there. Well, time went on. Poor Simeon. <laughs> yeah. Time went on. And here it is. You know, again, I, I imagine Joseph. Joseph was probably thinking, man, you know, uh, I don't think they, they might have not changed. You know, it, it's been a little bit of time. Again, Joseph doesn't know about Benjamin. Man, it's been, it's been, it's been a while. I mean, they ate up all the food. So I would imagine probably, I don't know how much, uh, I mean, you got to think they had uh, 10 brothers and they had sacks and they were full. I don't know if that means months. <laughs> I mean, right, it, it, right. it was a while. You can make a lot out of, you can make a, 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 a lot with what they had. Go a long way. Man, time went on. They ate it all up, and their dad said, All right, boys, time to go back to Egypt, get more. This time Judah spoke up, spoke up, excuse me, spoke up. Says, Dad, whoa, Dad, look, we told you. The man said, We are not going to even see his face if we don't have our younger brother. And we need to bring him. And, and when I was reading y'all chuckled, Jacob. He would have had, uh, I don't know if everyone here has seen the TV show. I know, I know me and my family has uh, watched uh, NCIS. Uh, there's a thing on there. Uh, it's a, a gib slap. I think Jacob would have gib slapped all of them. What were you thinking? <laughs> Telling him that we had another, that you had another brother. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you even bring him up? You know, that just makes no sense. And and they said, whoa, dad, the man, he asked us if we had any other brother. If we had a dad, if we had brother. Any other brothers? And, I mean, we told him, how, do we, how did we know this was what he was going to say? You know, I mean, calm down. You know, we didn't know. And here it is, as Judah said, listen, Dad, I will be Benjamin's security. Mm -hmm. He will be by me at all times. And if something happens on to him, you can blame me forever. Put the blame. And, and I imagine that that's probably equivalent of saying, Dad, you can disown me. Yeah. Don't, don't count me as part of the family anymore. Mm. That's a big deal. Yeah. Dad, I, if, if something happens to him, just just disown me. I will put the blame on me forever, but Dad, I'm, I'm telling you this. We cannot go to Egypt without Benjamin. If we want to eat, if we want to live, he has to come with us. And verse 11, we're going to keep reading. Verse 11, the Bible says, And their father Israel said unto them, If it must be so now, do this, 
Take of the best fruits in the land in your vessels and carry down the man a present, a little balm and a little honey, spices and myrrh, nuts and almonds, and take double honey in your hand. And the money that was brought again in the mouth of your sacks, carry it again in your hand. Paraventure it was an oversight. Take also your brother and arise, go again unto the man. And God Almighty give you mercy before, before the man, that he may send away your, old, your other brother and Benjamin. If I be bereaved of my children, I am bereaved. And the men took that present, and they took double the money in their hand. And Benjamin rose up and went down to Egypt and stood before Joseph. And when Joseph saw Benjamin with them, he said to the ruler of the house, Bring these men home and, uh, and slay and be ready, for these men shall dine with me at noon. And the man did as Joseph bade, and the, men, and the man brought the men unto Joseph's house. And the men were afraid because they were brought into Joseph's house. And they said, because of the money that were returned into, their, into our sacks at the first time as we brought in, that he may seek occasion against us and fall upon us and take us for bondmen and our asses. And they came near to the steward of Joseph's house, and they communed with him at the door of the house and said, O oh, sir, we came indeed down at the first time to buy food. And it came to pass when we came to the end that we opened our sacks, and behold, every man's money was in the mouth of his sack. Our money was full weight, and we have brought it again into our hand. And the other money have we brought down in our hands to buy food. We cannot tell who put our money into our sacks. And he said, Peace be unto you, fear not. Your God and the God of your father hath given you treasures in your sack. I had your money, and I, put, and I brought Simeon out unto them. And he brought Simeon out to them. And the man brought the men unto Joseph's house and gave them water. And they washed their feet, and he gave their asses provender. And they made ready the presents against Joseph came at noon. For they heard that they should eat bread there. And when Joseph came home, they brought him to the present, which they brought him the present which was in their hand into the house, and bowed themselves to him to the earth. And he asked them of their welfare, and said, Is your father well? The old man of whom ye spake, is he yet alive? And they answered, Thy servant, our father, is in good health. He is yet alive. And they bowed down their heads and made obedience. And he lifted up his and he lifted up his eyes and saw his brother Benjamin his mother's son, and said, Is this your younger brother, of whom you spake unto me? And he said, God, be gracious unto thee, my son. And Joseph made haste, for his bowels did yearn upon his brother. And he sought where to weep, and he entered into his chamber and wept there. And he washed his face and went out and refrained himself, and said, Set on bread. And they set on for him by himself, for them by themselves, and for the Egyptians, which should eat with him. By themselves, because the Egyptians might not eat bread with the Hebrews, for that was an abomination to the Egyptians. And they sat before him, the firstborn according to his birthright, and the youngest according to his youth. And the men marveled at one, one at another. And he took and sent messes under, uh, under them from before him. But Benjamin's mess was five times so much as any of theirs. And they drank and were merry with them, with him. So here it is that uh, Jacob said, all right, take him. Uh, also, take double the money because perhaps that uh, they might have they might have miscounted. You know, and, 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 and I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want you boys. I don't want to I don't want them to have a, an occasion to get in more, to, to draw more attention to y'all. Yeah. Bring more money. Matter of fact, bring gifts. And then there was a list. Bring this. So, so if something were to happen, you can apologize. Say, listen, we're sorry. We don't know how it got in here. Here's, here's the money. Here's more that we can buy. And here's some gifts extra to show that we, that it was not intentional. And he says, go and, and do it. And they went and they came and and Joseph uh, 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 saw and, and he says, hey, one, to one of his, one of his uh, 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 stewards, he says, hey, bring him to my house. 
Uh, they're going to eat in my house. And the steward came and, and he said, hey, uh, I, I can't remember what Joseph's Egyptian name was, but probably what that was. Uh, wants to, he wants, excuse me, he wants y'all to eat at his house. Come, come to our house or come to his house. He wants, he, he wants to talk to you. <laughs> and the Bible says that they were afraid because they remembered the money. Uh oh. Uh, and, and they kind of, they kind of like explain us as like, hey, listen, we already know what he's going to talk to us about. We'll just talk to you about it. Just kind of <laughs> help you camp our case. You know, we don't know. You know, we paid, and, and, and we don't know how it got back to us. You know, we we brought more. You know, we brought it back. We didn't we didn't spend a penny of it. We brought it back, and we brought more because we want to buy more food, and, he, and we got even more. We got presents for Joseph. You know, or, or, or the man. And I love, I love his answer, the steward's answer, in verse 23. He said, and he said, peace be unto you. Fear not, your God and the God of your father had given you treasure in your sacks. This is how I know Joseph was a godly man still. Joseph was number two in the land. And he did not let that get to his head. He was still telling people about God. Yeah. This steward, I believe, was a safe man. You know, uh, Joseph, I'm sure he spent a lot of time with this steward. And Joseph said, hey, you know, I'm pretty sure he said, hey, you know, let me tell you about my God. And he did, and then I'm sure he probably, he probably said, "Look, let me tell you about my life. <laughs> you know, you want you want you want to look at an impossible life. Just look at my life. You know, you 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 hear somebody about you hear the life of Joseph. You know, like, that's impossible. You know, there ain't no way. But Joseph lived it. And he said, "Peace be on you." And he says, "He hath given you your treasure and your stacks. I had your money. I had it. And I gave it back." And he, and he brought Simeon back. And they came, and, and here it is, that Joseph now, he's home, and he says, fellas, you know, let's talk, talk a little bit. And he looked, and, 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 and he says, hey, uh, your dad, your father, is he still alive? Because again, time went on. J Jacob wasn't, was an older man. And Joseph asked him, hey, is he still alive? And they say, yes, he's alive and he's well. And he looked and, and he saw Benjamin and he says, now is this the, your youngest brother you were speaking of? Yep. And I imagine that when he looked at Benjamin, he saw him and he saw his mom, he saw his dad. You realize this is not. Now, his other brothers were his brothers, but they were half brothers. Mm -hmm. I believe just looking at Benjamin that he knew that that was his brother. Yeah. And we saw that he, he, he that that he saw, and, and he said, "God be gracious unto thee, my son." You know, again. Jake, uh, uh, Joseph revealed that he did believe in God. He revealed that to them. And he, and, and, and he said, God, be gracious unto you. You. And the Bible says that he went away. He had to leave because, again, man, looking. And, 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 and again, I, I think he went for, for a couple reasons. You know, one, you know, uh, 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 man, being, being, seeing his family. Again, all the all that emotions is going on. Yeah. Seeing his youngest brother, you know, knowing that dad's still okay, and then also seeing again that they passed test number one. They came back. They came back, and and and, and, and man, they 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 came back, and they, and they were true. They were honest. Yeah, they didn't try to come up with some excuse. 
They came back and, and Simeon was set free. And, and the Bible says he went away and he wept and and he, you know, he washed his face kind of kind of kind of again part of that act. You don't want to make sure they don't know that he was crying. Kind of just kind of just and, and, and he says, All right. It's time to eat. And custom that as we read that Egyptians didn't eat with uh, Hebrews. Yeah. The Bible says that the Egyptians counted as an abomination to eat with Hebrews. And Joseph was kind of in a mix. <laughs> Joseph was was Hebrew, but he was also Egyptian. So that's why it says that he sat on by himself. He sat by himself. He was kind of it's kind of kind of weird. You know, uh, you can do the, the whole history thing on it if you want to on your own time. That'd be great. Uh, but he, he had to sit by himself to eat. And the Egyptians, they sat by themselves to eat. And his brothers, they sat with amongst themselves to eat. And the men, the brothers, the Bible said they marveled at one another. And they scratched their heads and said, what is going on? This is the strangest encounter we have ever had in our entire lives. We go to buy food. We come back with more food and, and, and our money back. You know, we're accused of spies and, and things are going on. And we prove ourselves. And now he's wanting to feed us. Yeah. Typically, you just want to get in and get out. You know, hey, get your food and, and get out of here. You know, and, and, and here it is. He, he, he's asking about dad. He's, he's, you know, he, he's wanting to know all these things. This is so weird. Now, now we're eating at number two, his house. And, and we're eating comfortably. You know, I mean, we, we, whatever we want, we can have, it seems like. And they marvel. And he served them. Hey, what do you want to order? Anything you want, I'll serve you. And he did. And 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 and, and Benjamin, the Bible says that, that he got five times <laughs> much more than his brothers. You want a steak? Great. I'll make sure you get five. <laughs> you know? I want to make sure you you have more than you need. And the Bible says, and we're going to end with this, that they drank and were merry with him. They were having a good time yeah. with Joseph. Joseph, from the beginning, he could have said, pulled off his hat and said, boys, it's me. It's Joseph. You remember me? Yeah. Bow down. Stand back up. Bow down again. Stand back up. Bow down again. Yeah. I want you to keep doing that. And then, because I can, you are not going to be my servants. But he did. See, as I said before, I believe that when Joseph was was being sold into slavery and, 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 and things were transpiring. I think, I, I know, Joseph was growing in the Lord. Yeah. And the Lord said, Joseph, as hard as it may be, you need to forgive your brothers. You need to trust me. Forgive them. And I believe long, long before this even, that they even met, Joseph forgave them. And I believe that he prayed to God and said, God, if there's ever a time that I could just ever see my family again, I want them to let them know. I want them to know that I forgive them. Yeah. That I still love them. And here it is. It's happening. And we see that Joseph is forgiving them. And he still does love them. And we see that, just as I read, they were drinking and they were having a good time. And next week, we'll continue on to chapter 44 and continue on with that. All right. So we're going to go ahead and pray and be dismissed. All right? Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, thank you for this time that we can come again into your house, Lord, and uh, again celebrate Mother's Day. And uh, Lord, I do thank you for all the mothers that uh, have made an impact in our lives that we know, Lord. And, uh, again,
again, I just want to thank you for, for the blessings of them. And uh, Lord, I just uh, thank you for the life of Joseph and uh, all the things that he went through. And Lord, I, how we can learn from it and, and, and learn to, to forgive others and, and, and love uh, our enemies, Lord. And uh, again, I just uh, pray for uh, the, the remaining of the week. Uh, uh, may we honor and glorify you. In Jesus' name, amen.